In today's video, I will be ranking every single NFL head coach. Now, we'll have a lot of different things about this, and we'll get into that later on. But first, let me remind you, help me get to 1,000 subs. We're almost there, about 25 away. And as soon as I get there, I will be doing a jersey giveaway. Someone will get a free standard jersey of their choice. So make sure you subscribe and help me get to my goal. Also, don't forget to go to w.gg and check out their energy drinks and all their other products. And use code SHREDDER for 10% off your order. Or click the link in the description to take you right to it. Either way, let's get right into this video. Here we are on the tier maker, and we're going to start out, here is our tiers. S tier, the best coaches. A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, new. We also need to edit this because there does need to be one more. There needs to be one more. One single more tier. I don't know why it wasn't there before or why I didn't think to put it there otherwise, but there it is. We're also going to change the colors because now that just doesn't look right. Uh, we'll go that one there. And then this one is orange. All right. Now, well, that, that makes more sense. There we go. There is our new tier list. That makes a lot more sense. All right. New guys, you just can't rank them because they haven't been a head coach. You can't put that to them. So, starting off, Nick Sirianni. I don't know what to think about him. He's taken his team to a Super Bowl. It was a very good team. I don't think you just go to a Super Bowl by chance as a head coach. He's at least a B tier. I think you've got to give him that much for the success he's had in his career so far. They went down in shambles this year. You could attribute that to a lot of things. And this is going to boil down to personal opinion in a lot of ways. Either way, I think he's at least that much. I'm going to skip John Harbaugh for a minute. Mike McDonald, he's going to go in new, obviously, because, well, he's new. Same thing with Brian Callahan. Uh, let's see, anybody else right here? Dan Quinn. We're not going to put him in new because he's been a head coach before. He is the current Washington Commanders head coach. And to me, I think he's a C-tier head coach. He wasn't that great in Atlanta. He did go to Super Bowl. You don't go there by chance. He blew it in the Super Bowl. That's a big part of it. He could be B tier. He is a very good coordinator, and I think that's why. Maybe he's the very back of B. I'm going to leave him at the top of C, though. We'll say that for now. Dave Canales does go in new. Same with Gerard Mayo. Uh, and I think that's where we're going to sit here. Jim Harbaugh, we'll rank him now because that is a very interesting one. He was a good head coach when he was here before. He's already a good head coach now. He's an, he is an A-tier guy. He just makes a lot of sense for A-tier. He had a really good record as an NFL head coach. I think it's around like 46 and 19. I think that's the number I remember. I could be wrong. Either way, he's a good head coach one way or another. Then, we'll go to Jonathan Gannon, a guy who just got his job last year. To me, I'm going to put him in C-tier. Not the greatest, not the worst, but that's kind of what just seems fair to me. Yes, he had a 4-13 and 13 record. He also did that with one of the worst rosters the NFL's ever seen. So I think you have to give him credit for that much. And just on a game-to-game -game basis, they were very competitive throughout the entire season. That makes me want to put him in C. I think that's fair. We'll call it good as it sits there. Raheem Morris, though he has kind of been a head coach before in some spurts, we're going to put him in new because he's been out for a long time. It's just a different situation. Then, let's see. Antonio Pierce. He is not going to go in new because it's just stipulations here. I'm going to already put him in B tier. You have the control of the locker room like you do, like Antonio Pierce does. You, you know, get that step from those guys. You lead that team with Aiden O'Connell as a starting quarterback to where you did. Yeah, it wasn't the best, but guess what? That could have been a lot worse. I think he deserves minimum a B minus grade. And, I, you know, I, I just think that's fair. I, at this point, it is what it is. Next, we'll go to Sean McVay. I think he is an, uh, oof. He's an A tier. He might bump up to S tier, but we'll see. I, I think right now A tier does fit. He's a guy who, I mean, he's won a Super Bowl. That's really a lot. That's that's the goal. That's a great thing. We'll just keep him there. John Harbaugh. This is a tough one because I think I am a uh, John Harbaugh. I wouldn't say hater, but I'd say I, I'm not sure of him. I don't know. I don't know what to think of him. That's just how I'd put it. I think if Lamar Jackson doesn't get drafted where he does, doesn't, you know, come in after Joe Flacco, after Joe Flacco was in a really bad spot, I, I think he's fired. I think if they just didn't play him when they did, he, he's not even in the, uh, you know, in the Ravens coaching staff right now. It, it's just, it's hard to say. Now, they've had really good rosters recently, so their team success should be good. He's going to be a B tier. I think you can give him that much. I will leave him at the very top of B. I just don't know about A. Just to me personally, 
I think he should have been gone, and I think there's a lot of reasons why he hasn't won a Super Bowl since 2012 with that team. So, uh, you know, and I think a lot of them do fall on him ultimately. Brian Dabble is an interesting one as well because he just he hasn't done a lot as a head coach. He, he kind of seems like a coordinator, but at the same time, his roster is so bad. He's going to go in C tier. I just don't know what else I can say about him. It, it, he hasn't done enough. And is it his fault? Not necessarily, but he has to prove it in one way or another. Robert Sala, at this point, I'm putting him in D tier. I like that he controls the defense. That's good. I think it's, it, you know, and by control, I don't mean cause plays. I mean, he keeps him in a good spot. However, I can't do that. No, no, I can't. He's got to be C tier. He's in the same spot as Dabble. They really haven't had success. He has a bit of a better roster than he does, but I've got to find somebody to go in D tier or F tier. I don't know. Either way, Zach Taylor, he's a B tier guy, I think. You know, they've had really good rosters as well. And I just don't know that I trust him. He just doesn't really look like a great... I don't know. He just doesn't have the appearance of a head coach to me. I don't know I don't know why. I just... He's going to be B-tier. Whatever. Stefanski, I think he's a B-tier coach as well. Very solid. Very good. You know? He, he fits here as well. It's just... Yeah. Uh, you got a good roster. You got things. Things went your way. You know? So the balls bounced their way literally and figuratively. In terms of Joe Flacco, a guy they pulled off the couch, played playing well. That just doesn't that doesn't just happen. That's that's luck. I mean, you don't coach into that. That is there's a lot of luck in that. Uh, the defensive unit was really good. You know, I, I, I yeah, he's he's a very good coordinator. He he's a pretty good coach. I, B tier is a good tier. Don't get me wrong. He he's fine. We're gonna go to Matt Eberflus. So far, he's a D tier coach. You just can't say much else. The one thing I will give him credit for. When he started calling plays for that Chicago Bears defense, they got really good. We know he's a good coordinator. We see that. But we don't see anything else. We got to see more than that. Todd Bowles, this is kind of a tentative one. I, so I'm actually going to drop down Jonathan Gannon. I just He hasn't done enough to be any better. I'll just give him the benefit of the doubt and saying, hey, man, you did good in your first year with what you had. Cool. Todd Bowles, he's going to go in D tier. I just don't think he's a very good head coach overall. I just don't. And yeah, he kind of proved me wrong this last year a little bit with the, the you know, where they went. But at the same time, he just, I don't know. It, he's been a bad head coach before. It's hard to look past that without having legit full success. And I've got to see more than just a divisional round game to see that. At least more than one divisional round game, let's say. Doug Peterson, I don't know what to think about him. They collapse. He's going to go in C tier for now. I like Doug Peterson. I think he can be a very good head coach. I think he can be definitely a B tier guy. But right now with what we've seen in Jacksonville, it's going to be a C tier. He choked last year. He choked this year in different ways. Uh, it's just not a good spot. Dan Campbell, I think at this point he's an A tier coach. Oh, you went for it on fourth down too many times. Josh Reynolds could have caught the ball. The, uh, the defense could have stopped something. There's a lot of things that could have happened. That is not falling Dan Campbell. Maybe you don't go for it the second time after you've already missed it once. However, that doesn't lose you the game. A wide open pass that was dropped by a receiver on fourth down that might lose you a game. The call doesn't necessarily lose you a game. Either way, Sean Payton, he's going to go in B tier for this stint. It's hard to really put him any higher. The Broncos didn't have a lot of success last year, and also they started off very rocky. Granted, his side of the ball, the offense, did do very well, um, at least comparatively to the defense. But there's just, you know, there's got to be more control. And with his questionable decision now of benching Russ, well, yeah, benching Russ, maybe he wasn't the best. But who's your alternative? Jarrett Stidham? Is he really better than Russell Wilson? No. Get out of here. Uh, Mike McCarthy. Hmm. That's a tough one. I'm going to put him in B tier as well. I just don't think he's amazing, but he's still very good. That's kind of the rest of this tier. You know, except for Pierce uh, and Taylor I, and Sirianni. I think these guys are all, they're not the best, but they're very good coaches, no doubt about it. I think that's just kind of what B tier is. You know, a B is a very good, I mean, it's a it's a passing grade. You did well. Sean McDermott, he fits in that same tier with these guys. There are a lot of questions about him, but it's just hard to put anything else around him. I am going to drop Antonio Pierce down to C. It just doesn't fit with the rest of the group. It is what it is. Shane Steichen, he will go and see. He's in that same boat as Jonathan Gannon. They had good seasons, but there was more to be desired. And granted, he went with a backup quarterback and had a good season. You know, he also didn't have his star running back for the first eh, half-ish of the season. There, there's a lot of things to it, but he had a very good year and a much better year than Gannon. Granted, a much better roster too. 
Uh, Andy Reid. He is going to go in S tier. But is he the best coach? We'll get there in a minute. Dennis Allen, I think he's an F tier coach. You know, you can get by with some things. I just don't think he's a very good coach. I I'm sorry, Saints fans, but him and Todd Bowles are kind of the same tier to me. Todd Bowles just happened to have a little bit of success this year that gave him a little bump up, or he'd quickly be down there as well. Kyle Shanahan, he is a tough one to grade because I don't know that you can put him S tier after his constant failures of the same exact thing. They had a great roster. They blew it. He's going to be A tier, for sure. For sure. He's A tier. Because you have had this many chances to win a Super Bowl and blown it so many times. I mean, it's, he also, the Falcons won. It can partially affect him as well in this sense. You've got to put him there. You just have to. I think I'm going to move something around here. I don't like something here. Um, Sirianni could move. Taylor could move. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it. These guys, just they feel like they're like in a tier separate from these guys. I don't know. To me, D'Amico Ryans, he is so far going to go in A tier. He looks like a really good head coach. He's controlled the defense that wasn't the most talented unit, but they played like they were. You've got to give him that much, even though it's only been one year. The expectation's there, and he created an expectation for himself. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. However, he's going to be an A tier coach for now. Matt LaFleur... He just fits this tier as well. Above the Sirianni and Taylor, but with McDermott and Peyton and Stefanski and Harbaugh and McCarthy. It's just, you've had success. Limited success, but success nonetheless. And you just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why, but just Taylor, yeah, he's kind of had some success. And yes, he's been to a Super Bowl, but he just doesn't fit into this tier to me. I, it's, it's just strange. I don't know why. I don't know why I think of him that way. Mike Tomlin, he's an S-tier head coach. I think you can argue him ahead of Andy Reid. Not that these tiers are ranked. Sean Payton's not necessarily better than McDermott or LaFleur or whatever. But, just for the point of the matter. Here's the thing. Andy Reid, oh, he's the best head coach in the NFL. Why? Oh, he's won three Super Bowls in five years. He also did it with Mahomes. Before Mahomes, before McNabb, after McNabb, between Mahomes, he wasn't really all that great of a coach. They didn't really win anything. Because, guess what? You don't have a very dynamic quarterback. When you have a great quarterback, it's pretty easy to win. Fact of the matter. Mike Tomlin has not had a great quarterback in the last few years and has been in the playoffs. Has not had a losing season. Andy Reid has had a lot of losing seasons. Not that a losing season is what matters. The Super Bowl matters. Absolutely. However, it's easy to win a Super Bowl when you have the best quarterback in the league by a long shot. Got to give them that much credit. Uh, yes, they had their struggles this year. The Steelers have struggles every year. The Steelers had been for 18 years. They never win a losing season. They had the year where Duck Hodges played. They didn't lose, have a losing season. They had the year where Kenny Pickett played. Matt Canada didn't have a losing season. Why? Mike Tomlin. Definitely a point there. Kevin O'Connell. This is a tough one. It's hard to put him much higher than C, maybe B. He kind of fits into this back end of this tier, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's just, they're, th these guys are all like, you have a question about them. These guys are all questionable. These guys, there's not a question about them. It's just, are they as good as these guys? I think that's where the line's drawing here. You know, these guys are definitely head coach material. They get fired. They're going to get picked back up by any of these teams. But these guys are all like, could y'all be a year or two away from being fired? I think so. McDaniel, he's going to fit in this B tier as well. I don't know where. I'm just going to put him somewhere. I just think Sirianni and Taylor might be a step down after O'Connell. I just feel like they, they just don't feel like as the same level of head coaches, the same leaders, the same guys like these guys do. I don't know why. It's just strange. It's just a thought I have. Either way, this is our tier list. Let me know what you think so far. This is going to be, I think, where I finish with. I don't think I'm going to change anything. Yeah, like I said, these tiers are not ranked. I think there's two great head coaches. There's one bad head coach. Todd Bowles is teetering on the edge there. So is Eberflus, to be honest with you. But either way, this is what the list is going to look like. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. We are on our way to 1,000 subs. And as soon as we get there, I will be doing a jersey giveaway. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.